Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yaki. I make art on the internet. So today's video is all about Target art supplies. So this is a part two. The first video will be up here. You can click that little card and it'll take you there. But this video is about the painting supplies that Target is now offering. The first part was about the markers that Target has. And I will say that after having these markers, beyond that, making that one video, I'm thoroughly surprised with them. Um, I really like that they had a very comfortable price tag on them. It was $25 for 40 markers, and I find myself wanting to reach for those. You know how you get whenever you have expensive art supplies and you don't want to use it all the time because you're afraid it's going to run out, and then you won't have that art supply anymore? So... With having these markers around, I find myself, if I'm just like doodling, I will use them. And I also like took them to work the other day, it was slow, and we were just coloring. And it was really fun to have like a good variety of markers that are both chisel tip and like little teeny tiny fine point tip. So I will say Target, you, you're you meeting my expectations so far for being like a cheap budget art supply they're doing all right. Like, if I was a kid and I got a 40-pack of those markers, I would be so stoked. So, high expectations for today's video. We're going to be doing painting supplies. I got acrylic paint. I got canvas board. I got paint brushes. And I got paint markers. And the paint markers, you know, they it was $5 for an 8-pack of them. And I am going to test them against some Posca markers. If we have a new Posca marker competitor in town, whoo! I might change the game, so stay tuned, and I'll have my opinion at the end of all of the art supplies from Target, and I'll see you guys then. So, grab your favorite beverage. Mine currently is Popple Moose from LaCroix. You know, get a snack, and I'll see you guys then. Bye! Let's test some paint markers. So, once again, we have these Mondo Llama paint markers. Let's go ahead and get a little first impression of them. Alright, so I tried to match up some of the colors that were in this box as I gracefully opened it. So we can see again, there's not like a real yellow. <laughs> I'm starting to see this as a trend. So I grabbed both an orange and a yellow because this is definitely somewhere in between the two of those. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the other ones too. It says here that they are bullet tipped that the colors may vary from what's on here, so that's interesting. Shake to activate the marker, make sure the cap is on. Press tip down until ink fills tip and flows smoothly. Recap markers after use and store it lying flat. Same instructions that you would get with a Posca or a Molotov marker. So let's dive in. What color should we start with, huh? I think we're gonna start with red and we'll work our way like how this is over here. Also like first impressions, this is I'm not gonna lie, this seems kind of cheap. I feel like it's like those like free markers that you'd get whenever you were younger, but like a bigger edition of it, like when you'd get it like chilies with your kid's playmat. So there's the nib. Nib comes out, it is not double-sided, so you can only use one side. I guess unless you wanted like that tip, you could technically use that. This also seems to be one piece that breaks here. I know some of you on here are into hacking these markers. It does not cleanly come off. I think I would have to break this to actually get it to come off. But maybe maybe at the end of the video we'll break one open just to see what's inside. <laughs> Alright, so I like to use post-it notes to get them charged up. But it says to shake it. That's thoroughly shaken up. And let's try... Oh geez, that came out so fast. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's get this tip nice. You can already tell that this this is not like a red red. So like this this is red. That is not red. It writes smoothly. Alrighty, and we're back. So I got all of these already lined out, and on the camera it might not be picking it out. But basically, all of the Posca colors 
are very true to like what the color is either on the cap or like what you would imagine like a a full bodied matte green or yellow or red well these fall a little short to me very particular the purple like look at that it had like no coverage you can still see the canvas through it while like with the purple over here you can see it a little bit i guess but not as intense as this purple it started off strong with the red giving a good coverage and the yellow but then it started to kind of fade as we went down the line maybe it's just me noticing it more as we went along but in comparison you can see that higher square is green this entire square is like blue or turquoise while these have some spots where the paint isn't as opaque as its comparison this white and this black are still dry as well as or sorry they're still wet with all of these dots over here are so wet these take longer to dry than these pots because like all of these are dry while like coming down here they're not i'm going to start with doing the black lines through these and then we'll do a Posca one right next to it. Oh, it feels so slimy going through it. Do a white line also. Picked up on the nib like a little bit. So we have a little comparison. Alright, so for the whites, you can already see that the Mondo Llama paint is watery compared to the Posca, which seems to be consistent all the way through, while this one kind of pulled up at the beginning, got a little thinner, and the paint's like more in the middle, it thins out towards the edges. Same thing with the, the black. As for the opacity, I think that they're pretty similar. They're both matte black lines that do a good coverage. The only spots that I can really notice a big difference is look here. Whenever it's not on top of a paint and it's just on top of a canvas, I can kind of see the canvas through it compared to there where the Posca marker is consistent. It's a decent try. It's a decent try at a paint marker. I've definitely used worse, like those just ones you get from Amazon that your work will have to make a sign with. Those are way worse than, than these. For, what were these, five, ten dollars? I think these were only five dollars. For that price, you can't beat it because a pack of Poscas is going to run you like, you know, $24 if it's not on sale, if not more, depending on where you go to get them. So for a fifth of the price and you want to mess around with paint markers, I'd say it's a good option. But is it Posca markers? No. And I'd be really curious to see how using them for like a long period of time, if the paint stays consistently the same color or if it like fades over time or if it becomes more watery the longer you use it because i know for poscas they have a, a pretty good lifespan you know if you take care of them i'm going to do a painting now so cue some music up wait i gotta do both at the same time talk for a second these markers are so watery whenever i was trying to mix the colors to just get a little blend out of it they were just like when you drop like ink into water and you see how like it spreads that's exactly what these were doing whenever they interacted with each other so i don't i don't think that these are really too blendable i 
is what you can make with the $5 paint markers from Target. I will say that maybe choosing something that was on an 8x10 might have not been the right artistic choice because these nibs are fairly larger and I couldn't figure out like if which angle to hold it at it to get it like to be a smaller shape. And then also whenever I was trying to use the colors either on top of each other, they started to smear together, or whenever I tried to blend them, it was very watery and like you could see the ink like dripping into the other color. So it was almost impossible to use those and they wanted to move. They didn't want to stay like where they were. As you can see, like that's the line and it went all the way above it there. So I think that it's fitting that I used the very messed up canvas for this piece of art. It's something. Maybe using these on like a bigger project might be better or like for the signs that you would use at your place of work, these would work good for that. They, they, they definitely are better than like the chalk markers that you would get. They are an upgrade from chalk, like generic paint markers that I've seen and used. So cool, let's go on to do some actual painting now. Hi, welcome to the intermission for the video. I wanted to show off a t-shirt that I made. Isn't it fun? Isn't it cool? I still have a box of them left, maybe in your size. Go to IamTheYaki.com or search on Etsy for I Am The Yaki and buy yours today. Only this price. Thanks. Bye. Let's talk about the paint brushes that come in this set. So it is the Artist Brushes for Acrylic Tempura and more synthetic brushes. So as you can see here, comes with a small rigger, a small round, a r medium round, large round, medium fan, small bright, triangular medium, medium filbert, large angle, large bright. Can you guess which one's my favorite? It's the medium filbert. First impressions, I think that if you were new to art or haven't used a lot of brushes, having the names on them is actually really handy. So then like as you are painting more, you will know like whenever you go to the art store like what what like type of brush you're looking for like you can go and like ask the people there and talk to them instead of like either bringing like an old dingy paintbrush that you've used way too many times and being like I want another one of these so it's cool that it has the names for like an educational side of painting I like that brushes so far uh, they seem fine um already got an extra long hair there. Yeah, can you see it? Yeah, there, there you go. This small rigger is nice for pulling lines. So that's cool that it has that. I don't think that you normally get these in like paintbrush packages. So, and here's my favorite, the medium filbert. I use filberts all the time. They're probably my favorite. Um, they have like a nice like little like angled edge. So I really like that because you can get like tight into corners and then drag it. Uh, large bright, it's just a big one for blocking colors. Oh my god, this is dusty as hell. Can you see that? <coughs> it's so dusty. I don't know why it's dusty, but that paintbrush is really dusty. Uh, large angle, are you gonna be dusty too? Oh god, okay, it's not as bad. Uh, angle brushes are great too. Um, always good to have several sizes of these on hand for depending on what you're using them for. A large round. I can already tell that this paintbrush is busted. Can you see how bent that is? So it has a bunch of hairs that are just tweaking out and the whole brush is tilted. It's going like this. I mean like you can reshape these things. Like they sell like this oil that you can put your brushes in and you can reshape them with that. It's also like look at the way that that's cut. The thing just has like she's chopped someone got a home haircut with this brush i'm kind of regretting that that with this is one of the items that was ten dollars in comparison to like those paint markers being five 
Okay, this is supposed to be triangular, I guess. Do you see that? I don't think I've ever used a triangular brush before, but it's like legit a triangle. And I get that it has like an angle to it, but it's like also angular this way. Oh, this is interesting. I'm learning something. Well, that that's cool, I guess. I, I'll have to look up what that's used for. And then we got a teeny tiny little one. Dusty as well. It's cute though. I just want to say first impressions. This stuff is thick. Like, you dare me? It's not going anywhere. This stuff is thick. It's like a DQ blizzard. So we'll see. I might have to thin this out. It didn't say anywhere that's like concentrated or whatnot. So I'm just going to get to painting. painting you're still here that's awesome so welcome to the end of the video I'm going to give my opinion now on Target art supplies as a whole as a whole I think that they are great if if you are new to art you are a child or if you're just looking to get a couple of things to have like some fun, like explore some art with, like if you're gonna have like a little girls night, little guys night, and you guys want to do a little paint and sip, that kind of thing, I think that these supplies are wonderful for any of those occasions. But if you, you know, ran out of your cadmium color paint and you went to Target to try to get a replacement for that, you're not gonna find that. So I think that the price tag for these is very well, very well priced out for what you are getting. The canvas boards and the paint brushes, I think are absolute trash. Like don't, don't buy the paint brushes or the canvas boards. Save your money and buy something else because the canvas boards would not erase anything as you guys saw in the video the they were gummy I just overall had a very hard time using them I don't know if it was the canvas boards themselves or a combination of the acrylic paint and the canvas boards but I was having a hard time with them sticking to each other or having like the pigment sit on it um what am I trying to say the canvas was very raised so like if you were to apply gesso and gesso the canvases like it would be fine for that but for them on their own, ungessoed, untreated, um, I, I am not gonna ever use these 
again, uh, as you can see, I'm getting frustrated just thinking about them. They were not good. And then for the paint markers, they're fun, they're cool. Uh, for $5, go for it, try them out, have fun with it. But are they a Pasca competitor even? No. No way. They were so watered down that the paints would like swirl together. And then also whenever I tried to layer them on top of each other, the water in the top layer paint would activate the bottom layer paint and then they would swirl together. And so it became like impossible to layer the, the markers together. So there, it's a $5 pack of markers. So I think you get what you get with these options. Am I excited that I tried them? Yes. Am I excited that Target has more art supplies now? Also yes. But whenever you're in the Target aisle and you see all of the Mondo Llama art supplies on the left, try looking to the right where they have the Tombos, they have the Strathmores, they have the Copics, they have stuff for Circuit, mach circuit? Cricket? I always say that wrong. Those machines there. So, you know, art's art. If it makes you happy, do it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Probably Monday. I'll see you guys then. But uh, check out my Instagram if you guys want. I've been posting more like reels and videos and stuff there. And then, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.